have RJ Murdoch. Probably wondering why I'm standing outside for a studio tour. But this is downtown Fort Walton Beach. The Brooks Bridge is right over here, and as you can hear, the traffic is quite loud. I'm in an office building called the Landmark Center. And uh, I'm gonna, the reason I'm coming out here is to show you that noise is probably your biggest factor in deciding where to get your where to set up your studio. Now, if I was still up front, you'd be still being hearing some of the audio noise over here, but in this hallway, down this way, I'm all the way at the back of the building. And as we work farther, as we walk farther and farther away, you can see that the audio is getting quite quieter. Now this is the center of the building, and the reason why I'm pointing that out is the fact that both AC units are on the roof, but they're overhead here in the center. For myself, I'm in the room at the very back, and this is where the Emerald Coast Studio is at. Now this room is a 20 by 13, 20 feet this way, 13 feet this way, and I've got it arranged um, right now so that it, I can do multiple sets at the same time. Now originally, I created the video wall. This made doing talk shows, uh, when I first got started with this three years ago, uh, much easier to work with than a green screen. And it also allowed the host and the, the guest to kind of feel immersed with the way these TV panels are set up. They kind of give you the feeling that you are, uh, you know, looking out the window, overview of the Destin Harbor over here. And what I've also set up is that uh, I can set up a timer over here so they can actually see how much time they have left, but also I can put up any video that they happen to be wanting a reference, as well as uh, what I always do before I start an interview with a guest is put up the lower thirds right over here and make sure that that works out fine for them. Now it's a three camera shoot. I recently had, uh, within the last year plus, had picked up the PTZs. I do have three of them. I've only got two set up for the two side angles, and then I've got my uh, Sony uh, X70, PXW X70 right here. It's a 4K camera, and it's on a teleprompter, even though we don't use the teleprompter often for guest interviews. We do use it uh, for uh, individual spots or for openings, uh, or sometimes for a Zoom guest. So what I also want to show you before I show you the rest of the studio is that what's nice about this is that I can have multiple guests come in. And one of the other advantages of this office building and the reason why I chose this room because there was a conference room right across the way. And this allows my guests that are not on right now to be able to come on, have a seat, relax, partake in a snack or a coffee, but at the same time, be able to go ahead and watch the, the guests who happen to be on at the moment while they're waiting for their turn. And uh, so they get the chance to listen to the audio. I'm just doing a wireless video uh, with a transmitter over here uh, to the TV set. Uh, and this is really advantageous. Now that video wall was something I kind of came up with uh, back in 2017, I think is when I first started this, about three years ago. Uh, because I was taken over for the uh, local cable uh, company cable sh um, for doing cable, cable shows, but they were no longer producing shows, but they were allowing the local chambers and the cities to be able to provide shows, and I got asked if I could do that. So the video wall was a concept I came up with because I did not have the space to be able to have all the multiple sets they had for each of the different cable shows. And believe it or not, this little server closet was about 10 by 11 is where it all started where i had the video wall against here slightly angled on the sides and i literally had my main camera here my v mixture machine here and i would be sitting over here going and action in three two one and <laughs> believe it or not that's how that all started let's go back to the studio because I did the video wall for 
several years, uh, and then COVID hit. And that wall was actually against this right over here. So when COVID hit, um, I was asked by the chamber if I could do some virtual Zoom uh, chamber breakfasts. Uh, so that gave me an opportunity to pull out a panoramic grand screen, a green screen that I had. So um, what I ended up doing was setting it up in front of my desk over here. And then the, uh, you know, the chamber president was in front of the green screen and we used the video wall as a Zoom monitor. So we had about several pages, about 49 th thumbnails at a time up on there and he can actually talk and we could bring up individual people from the audience who were watching, which was kind of cool. But the problem with that was the fact that the green screen was right in front of where I was at, so I could not see what was going on. And when I had guests wanted to come back and do a regular talk show, they couldn't do it. So during the COVID downtime, I decided to rearrange the studio um, and came up with this 360 degree studio concept. So you've seen the video wall as it is. Uh, and then what I ended up doing was moving it to this wall over here. There's about a foot and a half on the other side of these curtains over here, and I'll use that for storage. The curtains were actually a really great thing to be able to use, to not only just kind of hide some stuff, but I can actually put stuff behind it. So behind, let's say, my production system over here, there is about a foot and a half, and this is where I keep my folded director's chairs back there out of sight. So I've actually created some storage space to work with. The uh, other thing I came up with was a little podcast station over here. So you could see as I'm sitting over here, we can uh, basically just do a single camera. I would move this camera as my main to the center and you'll see that I've got all the, the uh, power, the uh, SDI cable, uh, Cat5 I believe, and then I've got it on a very long cable, but it's all under wrap so that I can go ahead and move it around. So now this would go in front of the podcast station and I would be working that. So I would probably, you know, usually I would guess, I would be the host, I would be over here. I would also move these two cameras. I would put one on my guest. The other one from over there, I would place right here. The director's chairs would go out of the way. And by sitting over here, I not only have control over my, um, my audio, which uh, all of it's being run through a Behringer uh, RX-18 right here. And I'm doing that over the, the Cat5. And I bring in the audio from anywhere in the studio into this thing. And I can control that from either here or from over there. Um, so I would have the main camera and my two PTZs over here. Uh, but the other thing I could do as well is I have a, uh, a network cable enabled 360 degree camera here. So I have an opportunity to go ahead and provide a 360 podcast. And I would use the monitor over on this side as a confidence monitor. I could put my notes over there um, and, if, and I could just see how things are going and it becomes kind of a video podcast station, but we're gonna be producing it as if it was for uh, audio only. Um, the other thing we've got going on is behind the black curtain, I have the panoramic green screen. And this is what I do for my virtual desk for my uh, What's Up Emerald Coast. I would put the PTZs facing towards it. I would move, I would use the monitors, the wall monitors as my confidence monitor. And this would end up being over in the center over here. I would move, I would move some of this, uh, all the table that's out here and these chairs would be out of the way. Um, and then I've got my PTZs that I'd be moving over here. And then well, the last thing I would do would be to op open this up. Normally I would move this out of the way. I do have this 
on wheels, so uh, I can move it out of the way. Uh, I was kind of lucked out on, on finding that. And this is actually based on a Lastitic panoramic screen that's available on uh, B&H. Uh, so it gives you about almost seven feet high, 13, uh, roughly 13 feet wide panoramic so that you could shoot at angles and in that way you still got your virtual set on either side and then i also designed my one of my production tables this thing is actually on wheels this is actually my news desk and i would end up rolling that into place over here grabbing my two chairs putting them back over there and now i have my virtual news desk and i've Put this out here because I wanted to show you. Uh, you know, I'm a location sound guy, so I'll do um, I'll do location sound, and sometimes they, they would want additional listening devices. So I actually have an assistant listening device, and we will use that when we're doing Zoom calls or listening to media, so that we don't you know, we don't muddy up our audio. So we have the virtual set here. We have the podcast set over there. We do have the video wall set. And then by turning this monitor with this camera around and the teleprompter, I could do myself a, a single camera setup with my, with my table. And I'm gonna move my table back. And now I have my tech review set right here. So this is where I can do, um, you know, product uh, unboxing, uh, as well as doing uh, some uh, yeah, how to's, on, especially on the tech side from lessons learned. So I have four sets available in this 360 degree space here to work with. And everything basically kind of folds up and gets out of the way as needed. But there's, <laughs> but wait, there's more. Let me fold up this green screen real quickly. So there's one more set that kind of can work out of this. The chairs disappear over here. I will take this table, which by the way is adjustable. Uh, I did pick this up in particular because sometimes I would put lower chairs. And I'll bring this down. And then what I have is a glass top. Put in the center, maybe a little bit lower than need be at the moment, but you kind of get the idea. And then I would bring my, my chairs around it, and then I would put my 360 camera in the center, and what I have now is a 360 degree round table podcast capability. So there's five different set capabilities here. Uh, looking forward to starting to produce some content here uh, coming up in 2021, utilizing all the changes that we've made to the setup here. And uh, it's going to be exciting. Some good stuff happening. So that's the studio. Oh, by the way, all the lighting is LED. It's all daylight because the screens are actually LED TVs, so they are daylight as well. So that's why I keep everything in daylight. Uh, the uh, monitor over here can swivel around depending on whether I need to use it over here with this or whether I'm just using it over here. And I've got a little DJ light bar here to be able to turn off all the, the lighting as needed. And uh, of course, stream deck and such as well. So that's the studio tour. Uh, I'll try to trim this down so it's not as long and uh, hope you enjoy. That's all, folks.